Good morning, Joshua Tribe. If you listen real closely behind me, you can hear birds chirping. Anyways, I just love, I love all the nature that is here in Nairobi and Kenya. It's just, it's beautiful, especially after you've moved from a concrete jungle. Ugh, one needs nature. And so this morning on today, I said, let's do a little story time. Uh, and today's story is just a understanding that the universe always has your back and God is good. God is good and God has got your back. So, um, a few years back, uh, a friend of mine who I met in undergrad was getting married and she's like stupid wealthy. Okay. Like the first time I learned that there were levels to shit, it's when I met her, right? Like you know everything that's around you. You are going to be able to understand certain things in relation to yourself, right? So, I don't know, example's sake. Um, okay, like, I like to travel, right? Like, I really, really like to travel a lot. <clears throat> and I know for me, the first time I did, like, the Qatar Q Suite, I was like, oh, there's levels to this, right? Um, I have been fortunate that my mom has been able to provide a lot for us growing up. So we didn't really have certain issues. So, you know, most of the people around me growing up were more or less the same, right? And then you go to these upper tier schools, you go to these different places where it's like, hey, here's a new door, welcome, come in. And you see, you see new shit, right? Like, it's like, oh, I didn't know that that's what it was like. Like, I didn't know what that was like. So anyways, this girlfriend of mine, when I met her, like I understood when it said, there's levels to this shit. Remember that rap song where they were like, they, it wasn't regular money, they wanted A rap money. And it was like, what's A rap money? Like, why are you making a distinction between what the money is? It's called levels to this shit, okay? And so, and just to give you guys an idea, like, I remember when we were in school, we had a requirement, right? There was a requirement that your first two, you had to spend two years living on campus, right? Like you, it was a requirement. This girl came over there with so much cash. They didn't even give her that requirement. She literally at like 17 or 18 years old had a two bedroom apartment to herself, okay? And not one car, but two cars, y'all, to herself, like, fully to herself. One was an SUV and one was a Mercedes Benz. And this is when we were like 18. And now y'all know I'm seasoned. So like nowadays, you know, kids just scream and they get whatever they want back then. No, so this was levels to this shit. So anyway, so she had invited me to her wedding and I just, <clears throat> I couldn't go. I was in the middle of uh, exams and I just didn't have the money to get out to where her wedding was. It was not in the States at that time. And I was just like, I can't make it, right? And she was like, no, no, don't just come. I'll pay for your hotel room here. I'll make sure you have all of this done. And it's like, look, your girl loves anything for free, okay? So it was definitely an enticing offer, but imagine my other stuff was just too important. So I was like, look, girl, I just cannot do it. I wish you all the best, whatever, right? So now, wedding's over, now it's the honeymoon time, right? So, you know, most couples, right, you go on a honeymoon, usually it's in your area. Maybe it's like, oh, like, I've always wanted to go to Bali, right? And like, you know, if you get a week off, it's like, dang, y'all was doing it, right? Like I said to y'all, there's levels to this shit. She and her husband did not one week, not two weeks. They did a one month long honeymoon, y'all. And it was around the world, okay? Started in their country, went to like Singapore, Hong Kong, LA, uh, Miami, London, like just around the world for a month. And then everywhere they stayed, I mean, you know, look, levels to this, right? So, Anyway, so she's like coming down to Miami as part of her stop on her grand tour. And I was like, you know what, girl? 
I wasn't able to come to your wedding, but now, you know, I'm a full-blown lawyer out here, right? I'm out here, you know, I wasn't making no money, but you know, it's exciting, right? So I was like, look, I'm gonna take you, your husband, everybody, let's go out to dinner, it's on me, and let's just really do this, right? So she was like, yeah, that's great, like, whatever, fine. Mm, okay. So they are staying at the Satai Hotel in Miami Beach. And if you know, you know, you can go on and Google that. It's where uh, I think Nobu is like right downstairs. Again, if you know, you know, Google it. Levels to this, all right? Now, when they're staying at the Satai Hotel, they were staying in Miami in the Satai. I think they were there for like almost a week, right? And they didn't get like a regular room, right? Not like a, a suite. They literally got a two bedroom apartment inside the hotel. And when I'm telling you that kitchen was stocked, y'all, the kitchen was stocked. It wasn't like, you know, when you go in and they have your like little bags of your coffee that you gotta rip open one bag and put into your curry. Nah, fam, that fridge, it was like Evian Waters, the liter bottles, okay? Uh, Veuve Clicquot, multiple bottles, like stocked. And now, they also are coming with staff. So they hired a driver, a big body Benz. I don't have a car, I don't drive, so I don't really know. All I know is I saw the, you know, the peace sign for the Benz. Um, a security guard, okay? Just for this whole week we were there, right? So we make plans to get together. And I was like, all right, cool. I called my sister. I said, look, Giselle, homegirl's in town. Let's go meet her for dinner. Let's just go have like, you know, a Miami night. And again, if you know, you know. So get out to the hotel and we meet everybody downstairs in the lobby. So now it's me, my sister, my girlfriend, her husband, and then my girlfriend's cousin. Okay, so it's five of us for dinner. Okay. And you know, you know, I'm 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 Daddy Warbucks tonight, right? I'm I'm Madam Generous tonight, right? So it's like get whatever you want. It's on me. I go to make it to your wedding. Oh yeah, okay. So everybody's having a really nice dinner. We're ordering. We're eating. We're drinking. You know, oh, good times, right? Right. So now the driver has pulled up to the front of the hotel. Our personal security guard has come to the table and it's been like, all right, you know, let me know when you guys are ready to go. Let me escort you out. I mean, bro, like I ain't never felt like I was a somebody, but that first night that I was like, yo, I could get used to this, y'all. So anyway, so I was like, yeah, yeah, let's get our bill or whatever, right? So we're all sitting around the table. The waiter comes with the bill and I'm like, no, it's my, no, no. Your money's no good here. Give it to me, right? So I take the bill, take the thing. I'm looking at it and I was like. Oh shit. I give it to my sister. She looks, her whole mouth falls open. I'm like in good directly. I was like, put your mouth up. Act like you've been here. Oh shit. Oh shit, bro, this bill was over $3,000, okay? $3,000, uh, Kenyan shilling, $300,000, 300,000 shilling. And with that exchange rate, you just bump it up to like 450,000. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, I'm a government lawyer. I was playing in my mind, in my mind, right? I got a champagne wishes, but I got a beer budget. I was like, oh shit. So now the waiter comes, right? So my sister's to my right, we're passing it. The waiter comes behind, you know, the ones, you know, in these posh restaurants, they're very quiet, hands behind their back, just waiting, right? Like, you know, a $3,000 bill, duh, that's regular everyday life. Like this ain't McDonald's, right? Bro, I looked at this thing and I'm looking and I was like, fuck. I was like, I don't have it. I don't have it. I swear to you, I don't have it. Right then. Right then, a little tiny cockroach. I don't know where he came from. I don't know how he got there, but I know all of a sudden this little cockroach comes up onto the table and walks across the table like he has been waiting to make his rite of passage. 
When I tell you this waiter reached over my shoulder, grabbed that bill right out of my hand, put it behind his back and was like, you guys have a fantastic evening in Miami and thank you for coming for dinner. God is good, okay? God is good. The universe always has my back, always. Cause no, for real y'all, in my mind I was like, so I don't know how this is really gonna go down. Like I don't know how this is gonna go down because legit I ain't got it. I don't have no card right now that's got all this on it. I ain't. I just started being a lawyer. I'm young, young right now. Like what are you talking about? Right then, cockroach across the table saved your kid save face because i still get credit for the dinner right ah still get credit for the dinner like hey it took you guys out but thank god for that cockroach coming across that table y'all universe always has my back aka why am i saying that universe always got your back god is good it's gonna help you out and that's it for story time today take care y'all like subscribe hit me up with comments talk to you later bye